Hi all, in this video I am going to share you guys a tutorial to install SSD on your ASUS FX505. So let's jump into this tutorial. Before we jump into this physical tutorial of this video, some of the things that you want to note when you are buying SSD for your FX505. First one is that the model of the SSD you are going to get is M.2 NVMe SSD. There are like two types M.2 SATA SSD and M.2 NVMe SSD. You want to get the M.2 NVMe SSD because it is the one that is supported by this FX505. If you are finding it difficult to differentiate M.2 SATA SSD and M.2 NVMe SSD, an easy way to do so is by looking at the grooves. For M.2 SATA SSD there will be two groups and for M.2 NVMe SSD there will be one group. So you want to get the SSD where there is only one groove. And the second thing you want to make sure is the model you are getting is 2280. It is the size of the SSD and 2280 is the size supported by this FX505. So these are the two things that you want to keep in mind when you are getting SSD for your FX505. So after getting your SSD, turn off your laptop, grab the tools and remove the back of your laptop. The tool that you need for this operation is the Philips Head or the Star Screwdriver. And just remove the back plate by removing the 11 screws at the back of this device. From the 11, 6 of them is a long screws so you want to keep them aside and remaining 5 is small screws and you want to keep them aside. So after removing the screws just carefully remove the back plate by using your hand and if you got another tool for this to remove the back plate you can use that but for me I'm going to use my hand just tear it apart. So after removing the back you don't need to worry about any connected components to the back plate because there is no connected component for the back plate of this FX505 so you don't need to worry about that so you can just remove it any ways you want just make sure the clamps of this back plate is not broken when you are removing this back plate so after removing the back plate you can find the SSD slot at the left corner so Remove the screw from this SSD slot and also remove the plastic cover because you don't need that. It's just to protect the slot. So when you are inserting the SSD, you don't need that. So you can just remove that. So remove the screws and just carefully insert the SSD into slot by looking at the groove. You can just slide the SSD inside and screw it back together. You don't need to worry about anything else. It's very easy to do. So after inserting the SSD and screwing it back you can just mount the back plate and you are good to go. Thing to note when you are mounting the back plate is that make sure that every clamp is fitted together without any problem and if you are finding it difficult to clamp it together just push it inside and clamp it it's going to work you don't need to worry about anything. So after clamping look around the back plate to make sure that there is no clamp which is unclamped. So after that just insert the 11 screws I will just mark in the video where you want to insert the long screws and where you want to insert the small screws so after that you are good to go just boot up and you can find your NVMe SSD on your task manager so that's it that's all about this tutorial to insert SSD on your FX505 guys I'm going to make a tutorial so that you can just move your OS from your hard drive to SSD yes it will be there and it's uploaded so that's it that's all about this simple video guys i hope you find this video useful if you do so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe